Arizona is home to one of the largest canyons in the world. But even the Grand Canyon might not be big enough to contain the sound made by more than 3,000 instruments, each on display at the Musical Instrument Museum, recently opened in Phoenix. Here, you can marvel at the intricate details of an 18th century viola d'amore. Pluck and strum the strings of a Paraguayan frame harp. Or hear the melody of an Obokano lyre from Kenya. What we wanted to do from the very start is to create a museum that is based on understanding what is the art form that surrounds more of us on an everyday basis than any other, and that is music. Bill DeWalt is the president and director of the museum. We have created ensembles of musical instruments from every country, and what we're presenting is audio and video from those countries as well. Even if you can't read the labels because you don't speak a language that uh, we support, you can listen to the music and you can really get into the music of the world. What a world. This is John Lennon's piano, the one he used to compose Imagine. And this is an entire ensemble of an Indonesian gamelan orchestra. There's virtually every type of instrument you've ever heard of and some that you've never heard of. Still more whose names you might not even be able to pronounce. From Taiwan, the Lalingadan. A komus from Kyrgyzstan. An adufe from Spain. a Jingping band from Dominica. The museum, founded by Bob Ulrich, former chairman and CEO of Target, opened just this past spring, and already music lovers are taking note. It's really cool, actually. I, I didn't know there were this many instruments from just Africa. I mean, we're just in Africa right now. We haven't even seen Asia or South America or anything, so it's cool. Each visitor is given a sensor-controlled headset so they can better appreciate the unique sounds that surround them. You don't have to push any buttons or anything, it just knows where you are. Divided into seven major global regions, the collection includes instruments from practically every corner of the world. All the displays have a certain interest and value, and you learn so much about history, not just music, but history. So it's a real education from A to Z when you come here. Each has a story of its own, a story that often involves unique, even extraordinary materials. Take this shaker from Honduras. It's made from the lower jawbone of a horse. From Croatia, a me bagpipe from a pig bladder. A South African electric guitar made from an oil can. They are instruments that speak a language of their own, but in many ways, it's a universal language. People have this incredible innate need to make musical instruments, and they will make it them out of nearly everything imaginable, because I think people need these amplifiers of human emotion. 